Hey guys, Harftronics here. Bright and early in the morning. <laughs> I guess maybe not bright, but still early. Um, just want to give you a quick peek at what's going on. We got some drainage pipe in the hole now, and a lot of ice actually. Um, this is a 4 inch SDR pipe um, that's going to be the perimeter drain for when they lay stone later today. So, just wanted to uh, show you that before it starts to get covered up. We just got all of the crushed number one stone laid uh, in the hole. Uh, this is in preparation for the Superior Walls Foundation, which comes tomorrow. Um, they're going to just do the walls and they're going to lift them in by crane. The crane's going to set up up here. This is our extra number one stone up, up there. Um, and they're just going to set up the walls right along the outside. It's going to sit inside of this uh, perforated drain pipe here. Um, you can see all of the all of the water pretty much got flushed out, and this is actually pretty dry, uh, especially because the sun's out at the moment. Um, but here's all of our. Uh, this is going to be our tie-ins for our, um, our rain gutters, and this is where it's all coming out. This is a uh, just a cleaning. Uh, access right here in case we ever need to flush it out uh, and then all these come into uh, a Y and this is six inch pipe that's going to go all the way down the drainage ditch which they're filling in later today we got four tie-ins for the gutters here so we got one there one there one on that corner and one over here and we might not use them all we might or we might not uh, and they also, you can see they started cutting in a sewage line. So this is approximately where it's going to come out. And you can actually, you can't see it anymore because it's all buried. But there is a pipe that runs under here, comes all the way out to here where the stake is. Um, and this is the end of it here. And this is going to be our sewer line. This already has pitch on it and everything. So the only other thing that I want to show you now is we've been <laughs> using rakes and stuff to get this all in order. And this is uh, a laser level basically. So you can see this up here. Let's see if you can see it. This thing's spinning around. And what that does is it shoots a laser out level. And so we take this uh, story pole here, as it's called, which is basically like a big staff with um, numbers on it, and then this um, electronic um, sensor that picks up that laser. So if I turn this over towards the, the level, you can see that it's beeping. So you can look at the screen there. You can see we're right on. And so the idea is, no matter where you go, you want it to, oh, we got a low spot here, or a high spot. Yeah, a little bit of a high spot there. That's okay. But the idea is, no matter where you take it, you want it to be beeping when you point it back towards the laser. So we're a little high all around actually, which is good, because when they come they're going to tamp this down, this stone. Yeah, we're like an inch, uh, inch high maybe or something like that. So when they come they're going to tamp down all this stone, and it'll settle down nicely. Should still be above the perimeter drain, which is what we need. 
and all of our drainage will be set. We'll be able to start uh, slowly backfilling in around it and going from there. I'm back out at the site again today and they filled in the drainage ditch completely and it looks like it, you wouldn't even know it, were, it was there. So here's the former ditch. Now it's just all solid. And I'll walk down so you can see all the pipe that was run. It's pretty cool. We lost a little bit of this tree over here, as you can see. Unfortunately, depending on where the septic system ends up going, we might lose a little bit more of these trees. I'm hoping we don't. They're uh, old apple trees, so they're, they're starting to get a little unruly, but, you know, yeah, it's never good to cut down trees. All right, so here's the edge of the ditch. And this is a little... A little squishy, but well, actually not too bad. And there's our ginormous uh, six-inch pipe. But this is non-perforated pipe. Um, goes right into the drainage ditch that runs down the road. Actually, this needs to be cut out. They might do that again before the end of the year. I saw them doing some yesterday, so could happen. I'm just going to grab my shovel and climb down in here a little. There's a few spots that I want to bolster up along the perimeter drain. So, sorry, I had to look away from the camera there so I don't fall into this hole. So this is all the crushed number one stone in here. And this is one of the spots that I wanted to bolster up. i am probably just pack it in with my foot like this. I also want to see how much moisture is under this. You can see, um, if you cut into this, all this stone that's darker, it's a little bit damp. And ideally, we don't, we don't want a whole lot of that, but, I mean, that's kind of what this is for in the same regard, so. I'm just going to go through here and just going to level this out a little bit. Alright, so we're looking a little bit more level. I tried to fill in some of the uh, fill in some of the low spots that I could find with some of the high spots. Um, the middle part here really doesn't matter that much. Just around the edge is really all that matters. And I want to figure out a little more precisely where that's going to be. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up and run my string um, between my batter boards and maybe make a spray paint line to just show where the corner of the foundation is actually going to go over here uh, as well as on this axis over here and that should be a pretty good indication of where I need to make it the most level we did this with a laser yesterday as you saw um, but this is just some final touch ups that I want to do make sure that if I walk on it that it's just not going to cave in in some spots um, and if it does try to fill those in so that's all I have to report for now. As always, thank you for watching. See ya!